DC's Vertigo imprint just announced 12 new number ones coming this fall from luminaries like Mike Allred, Gail Simone, and Darwin Cook. We've got editor Shelley Bond here to give us a look at the horror and fantasy stories that will be filling our imaginations later this year. Vertigo has always had a track record for pushing the boundaries of genre fiction. This fall is no exception, but there's something unprecedented for Vertigo about the fall rollout. We have 12 new number one titles, one coming out per week in October, November, and December. First up is a book called Survivor's Club. Mm -hmm. So you know the kids from the 80s who were in those horror films. This is a book about what happened if those kids lived to tell their stories. They've come together in Los Angeles and there are six of them. They formed a club called Survivor's Club because really weird things are happening again and they come together to try to stop them. It's dark, it's creepy. It's by writer Lauren Bucus, who is a New York Times bestselling author mm -hmm. and her co-writer Dale Haverson and artwork by Ryan Kelly. The Twilight Children is a fish out of water story. It's very David Lynchian. It's a surreal story about a beautiful alien who falls to earth in a giant white orb and the denizens of a sleepy seaside town will never be the same. It's Darwin Cook illustrating and Gilbert Hernandez writing. They're both stylistically and geographically disparate and they're coming together for this powerhouse of a story. So Clean Room's another title that's coming out. Clean Room is Gail Simone's Vertigo debut. That's so exciting. Now, I know you're familiar with Gail Simone's work. She's known for strong female protagonists, and she's gone dark before in comics, but she has not gone to the deepest, darkest depths that you will see in Clean Room. It's a story about a female exorcist who takes you to a hermetically sealed chamber that's miles below the Chicago streets. And in this chamber, she will exercise your deepest, darkest secrets and rip them out of you and use them against you. I don't want to go to Chicago anytime soon, but I do want to read that book. <laughs> I think you'll also really like the art in Clean Room. It's by noted game designer, Jonathan Davis Hunt, awesome. who has brought such an arresting style to the series. Cool. And what's the next title that we have coming out? Art Ops is essentially a love letter to New York City and to pop culture. It's the story of what happens when rogue artwork escapes from its frame, <laughs> and it's about a group called the Art Operatives who are tasked to find this artwork before it wreaks havoc onto the public at large. Uh, what's also great about it is it's Mike Allred's first major project since iZombie's TV release. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to have Mike back at Vertigo. What's the next title? Unfollow is a searing look at social media. It's about a man who is a billionaire. He discovered a Twitter-like app and he's dying. So he decides to leave his billions to 140 random strangers. So basically the story is a crime thriller about how this group of random strangers plot, stalk, protect, and murder their way to the prize. Because the fewer the people alive, the more money they inherit. It's written by Rob Williams and drawn by Michael Dowling. Red Thorn's another uh, title of the 12 that's coming out. What can you tell us about that? Red Thorn is gonna fill that void left by fables. As many people know, we're wrapping up over 13 years of storytelling with Fables 150 this summer, and Red Thorn is gonna fill that gap. It's about Scottish mythology, and it stars a swaggering young demigod who's out for revenge. It's written by Glaswegian writer David Bailey and artwork by Megan Hetrick. So one of the other titles that we have coming out is The Sheriff of Baghdad. And this one's from Tom King, who did Grayson, and he's the CIA, he was a CIA operations officer as well, right? Yeah, Tom King actually brings such authenticity as the writer of this story. The artwork is by Mitch Gerards. And it's a story about an unlikely pairing of two cops there's an American cop with a secret and the last Iraqi cop. And together they bring down a female crime lord. And it's just a riveting political thriller. Jacked is by Eric Kripke, who you may know is the creator of Supernatural. 
He makes his Vertigo debut with Jacked, and it's about a man going through a midlife crisis mm -hmm. who orders a pill over the internet that becomes strangely addictive and gives him super strength. Very cool. What's some of the other titles coming out? Well, Lucifer is a big one for us. You may have heard about the TV show mm -hmm. that's in the works. It's gonna debut next year. And the comic book is coming out this December. So in the comic book, we have writer Holly Black, who is an incredible novelist and a Caldecott medal winner. She's joined by Lee Garbett, who's an amazing artist. And together, they basically take Lucifer from the depths of hell into the city of angels. Slash and Burn is about a former pyromaniac who's struggling with her addiction by becoming a firefighter. So it's an incredibly compelling book about a one woman struggle to overcome dangerous impulses and sometimes succumbing to her deepest, darkest desires. The artwork is incredible. It's by Max Dunbar and Andy Parks with covers by Tula Lote. New Romancer is about a young coder who's uh -huh. a romantic at heart. She's a little awkward uh -huh. and she's trying to resurrect a website which is called New Romancer. And she does this by creating a romance algorithm using the poetry of Lord Byron. Wow. Instead, she brings Lord Byron back to life. This is our very first paranormal rom-com <laughs> by Vertigo veteran Peter Milligan and rising art star Brett Parson. Sounds very cool. And the last title that's coming out of the new 12 that we've got is The Last Gang in Town. The perfect way to end the 12 week rollout we felt was with Last Gang in Town, which is basically a behind the music for Outlaws and Thieves. It's a rollicking adventure through the last half century of the British punk scene by writer Simon Oliver and artist Rufus Dago. There's really something for everyone, and these books will take you someplace stranger. That's it for today, but make sure you click subscribe and come back tomorrow for coverage from day two at San Diego Comic-Con. But right now, I think I need a nap. Whew.